for like five months, man. Ice cream sundaes, pancakes, breakfast samplers, strawberry. What's going on, guys? Uh, here we are, day after the show. Um, so it's Sunday. So uh, basically, after the show, uh, family, my girlfriend, and I, you know, we all just went home, had some pizza and uh, some other kind of stuff. Um, I just pigged out. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of free samples and stuff that they gave us at the show. So I had a ton of quest bars and things like that. And then uh, <clears throat> today, I started off the day with IHOP. And I had, uh, I had like an epic, epic breakfast meal there. <clears throat> meal there. Um, I had the whole breakfast sample platter. Four uh, strawberry banana pancakes, two buttermilk pancakes, and a, a hot fudge sundae. <clears throat> so uh, it was pretty funny. The uh, the waitresses and stuff there were were like, "What? You want a Sunday for breakfast?" And I was like, yeah, hell yeah. As far as the show goes, um, I'm happy with how I how I uh, showed myself. I'm happy how I came in. I came in conditioned. Um, I legs look great. Um, I came in, you know, uh, hoping to 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 take top three. I, I thought I did. I really thought that I had third place. I knew I, I knew uh, first and second. You know, I wouldn't have taken that because <clears throat> you know two of those guys are huge and and they look they look like killer. But um, uh, yeah, I really thought I'd take third, so I was a little disappointed there. But at the same time. You know, I'm really happy with how I did. I placed, right? So there were seven guys all together. <clears throat> and uh, so, so two didn't even place. And, you know, I came fourth. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I placed and, and, you know, it's my first competition ever. You know, I started, I, I did this whole prep alone. That's one thing. I, everyone else, you know, has coaches or part of like a, like a whole team kind of thing. <clears throat> I did this completely on my own, just all my own knowledge. I actually want to give a shout out to Nick Panero because uh, his whole contest prep series is what is what um, you know is what inspired me to do this and also helped me tremendously during my entire prep. <clears throat> in a way, you could say he was like a coach to me in the fact that like I would like if I was at one point in prep, I would watch that same point that he was at in his prep. So I, I, I must have watched his videos a million times over, uh, honestly. So, Nick, if you ever watch these videos, I want to give you a shout out, man. Thank you so much. <clears throat> you helped me a ton. And, uh, yeah, so I am, I'm happy with how I did. I made it this far, you know, never easy competing, right? And the competition was actually pretty, like, if you see the top two guys were killer, right? So, um... It was the best junior competition they've had in a while, like in years, so, and the most as well. But there it is, fourth place. Uh, you know, I am happy. I'm happy about it. Disappointed, obviously. I didn't quite reach my goal and missed it by one spot, but you know what? Here's what's the plan. Uh, my plan going forward here is um, I'm going to compete again. I'm going to compete in two years, 2016. I'm not sure what show I'm going to go in, uh, if it's, uh, whether it's the same one or two shows or a different show altogether. But I'm going to uh, compete again in 2016 what, when I'm 21. So I'll be top of the junior uh, age class because the two guys who came first were, you know, like 21 or whatever. So because it's just it's such a key age, like you've got so much muscle maturity and and you know, like if you see the guys who came first and second, it's the overall muscle maturity and like uh, density of the muscle. Uh, two years, you know, I'll be I'll be denser, fuller. Like, I'm gonna bring a package, like crazy package package to this one. You mark my words here. It's on video. Um, when I want something, I get it. So I'm gonna 
take two years off to really build the size I need. Because one thing I really realized, and I'm glad I did this show because I, I found out exactly what they look for. <clears throat> and I know that as a, as a way taller guy, six foot five, I need to slap on so much more size just to be symmetrical, right? Symmetry is a huge thing. And as a, you know, as a six foot five, you know, when, when you got your little guys or whatever, this is why, in my opinion, the third place uh, competitor came third above me is because, you know, I don't think he necessarily looked better than me. He looked great, but the thing is he was more symmetrical because of his height. You know, if I was shorter, I'd be more symmetrical too. But since I'm so tall, i got such long limbs, it's I have to pack on so much size in my shoulders and stuff, which I didn't have, obviously. So I need to really pack on size in my shoulders and stuff to get that V-taper. <clears throat> and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So pull on a lot of size and stuff really 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 hit that and uh, basically come back and take take first place 2016 also let's see how I do in men's open as well so basically that's the plan as far as competing goes um, so yeah basically it's gonna be take two years off I'm gonna really work on putting on size my chest especially I, that's another reason why I didn't come the way I wanted to the placings is because I know that my chest needs tons of work my chest uh, is easily my weakest part so like I in my opinion that's what lost it for me <clears throat> but uh so I'm really gonna build build a solid 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 frame to really look symmetrical at my height and uh, so my goal is in the next two years I want to peak up to like 280 and then I'd be able to cut, cut down to like 230, 240 contest weight, right? So <clears throat> I'm doing this slow. I'm going to do it calculated. Starting tomorrow, obviously, today and yesterday was binge, binge eating all day. So uh, it's going to start Monday. Um, another big thing. Uh, right here, I've got my uh, mountain dog training program that I paid for obviously so I won't be uh, use, disclosing too much information on that because it is what I paid for and obviously he doesn't want you know they don't want people knowing for free but I am going to be doing <coughs> mountain, uh, John Meadows mountain dog training his novice program which is about a 12 week program seeing how it goes for me see how I like it so it's basically a four day split <coughs> um, and it's four day split. It's split up to upper one, lower one, upper two, lower two. But basically what I'm gonna do is do the four days. So Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday off, uh, Thursday, Friday, and then I'm gonna add two days on. <coughs> uh, Saturday and Sunday are gonna be, Saturday's gonna be chest, Sunday's gonna be shoulders. So I'll have an extra shoulder day, extra chest day, and really be able to pack on size where I need it, with my chest and my shoulders. So that's the plan, guys. I will obviously be documenting uh, uh, this journey. That's my plan is to, <clears throat> from here, really doc uh, document for you guys my journey up to uh, the 2016 competition, which uh, I'm going to come in and I'm going to win the thing. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this uh, this series. Uh, it's been It's been a crazy ride. And it's finally come to an end, but uh, it's just the beginning as far as uh, my life in bodybuilding. <clears throat>